that's much better. Now, instead of having, you know, the imminent threat of going ahead and getting struck by lightning a bazillion times, we've gone ahead and we have relocated back into town, friends, where actually it is still storming, which is very impressive to me because look at this weather! I love this! I imagine that this probably floods all sorts of the little like rain gullies and you really need to be very careful while you're out and about in town with all of this. Uh, but uh, we're not gonna stay outside, especially since we've been, you know, struck by lightning several, several times. And we need a little bit of a break from being dazed. Yeah, we're hiding in the bathroom in here. <laughs> and uh, Rocky actually needs a little bit of a break because he's trying to look up on his phone what to do when your unexpected house guest happens to be an alien who may or may not have had something to do with you being recently abducted by aliens. Yeah, so... <laughs> Um, I still don't know how to take that twist, but sure enough, it turns out that, uh, Ashlyn? Ashlyn, where are you? Oh my gosh, where'd she go? Oh, there she is! Oh my gosh, I was so worried about that. But, um, Ashlyn, who's way down here now, and we have invited- The whole point of coming into town, Ashlyn, was to get out of the rain! What are you doing? <laughs> But Ashlyn is an alien, you guys. I don't think we know that about her just yet. We just know she's clumsy. But, oh yeah, oh, oh, there it is. She's a known alien. She's a known alien. We apparently have fairly good, fairly good uh, bonding with her. But uh, yeah, she's a known alien. And you may notice she's a member of a couple clubs, one of which is just the base club that we have to help our sims do the things they should do on our ranch, you know, that are ranchy themed. And the other of which is this weird Sneelials United. I wonder what on earth that could be. Uh, hmm. Especially because the L and the A should be flipped. <laughs> I'll fix that later. Oh my gosh, but the whole reason we came into town was one, to go ahead and get out of the rain, and two, to actually try earning our keep with Hercules' help. So Hercules actually has not entered any competitions yet, and it occurred to me we could be popping down to do our daily competition with him just to see if we could go ahead and maybe start getting him uh, higher up on his training to get his value improved and to also earn a little bit of money because it does cost an entry fee to go ahead and join the competitions with the horses but if you win you get more money back and you also get a chance to go and do the higher level competitions and the value of your horse goes up and thus the value of their offspring do so you guys are probably wondering when the 101 foals part of this challenge is going to begin it turns out i've given myself quite the big load on challenges, but I'm okay with that. I like that. I, I'm very much an immersive player. This is awesome. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> but it does turn out that if we want to go ahead and have um, really, really like high level foals that we can say quote unquote sold for a lot back to the company who's collecting this very rare breed of horse from us. We're working for our cousin after all, Nessa, who is like one of the members of that environmental group that is trying to swing around with making capitalism work for the sake of like eco-friendliness for once. <laughs> And so her company is funding us for all of the horses that we breed. And I think that because this is supposed to be a very rare horse breed and because it's fairly uncommon and uh, it's like protected, like an endangered breed, I don't think we should be allowed to breed Hercules until we have a ultimate champion horse trait. And uh, also coincidentally, <laughs> once we have the ultimate horse champion trait, all of his offspring will have champion bloodline genes, like they'll inherit that trait as well. And they will be born worth more money just out the gate. Like not even before we get to the gate, they're still inside the gate because they're going to be a little full. So I want to go ahead and try that out. But at the same time, if we get all the way to like, you know, autumn and we still haven't managed to go ahead and have any foals, I'll probably change my mind. Like we'll, we'll, we'll practice, I guess, with other horses. Um, but I want to see how easy or not it might be to do those champion, uh, those like championships. And to do that, I think our best bet is because we don't really have, well, okay, barrel racing endurance. 
uh, like jumping is recommended for that. Um, we also have beginner show jumping. We don't have a lot of jumping just yet for the endurance and show jumping. For barrel racing, we don't really have a lot of agility trained up just yet. Uh, but I was thinking maybe we could go ahead and we could try to enter our way into the, um, oh, I wanted to enter the Western Pe Pleasure, but, but it, oh, oh, it's the Somalians. Oh, that's all. We just need like a hundred dollars to apply for this. So let's try to scrounge up like a tiny bit more Somalians. And if we win, we can start making progress on getting our horse, of course. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to dive for deals over here. Just have to do it. Have to have to see. Like the only thing I think. Well, and there's also some of the hay over here. All right, but we might find more money inside of the dumpster. <laughs> and Rocky has put behind him, uh, you know, things like pride for quite a while now. And I wonder what he's gonna do about the fact that Ashlyn is an alien. I think that they really need to have a good conversation about that somehow. We need to know like why like what is she gonna do with that like is she i think she actually is the reason we got abducted because when you have your sims interact with aliens their likelihood of being abducted goes up and we had two different aliens interact with us uh callie here who is also a known alien maybe we should invite them over and just be like so why what are you two doing what is going on here a random man is scared Tetsu. Rocky found <gasps> the Schmapple coffee in the dumpster. It might be in questionable condition. Oh my gosh. Okay, look, we're going to keep that Schmapple coffee because that means we can make coffee on the range once we get some energy somehow. Okay, but that's definitely something worth keeping. Come on, Rocky. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some more, some more something that we can sell before like, okay. A Nana used to make stove in the dumpster. Questionable. Ah, oh, man. Okay, that's also really good. Is it inside, like, our household inventory? Nope, can't really get to our household inventory from here. Okay, well, the good news is we found some stuff so far to haul back with our horse. Am I seriously not going to be able to go ahead and actually participate in the competition? Because I think they close at 7. I just really wanted to do like one competition and I really don't want to have to sell. I'm not going to sell our rare, like our rare elements because come on, we found out that like our freaking friend is an alien. Oh, and I can't sell that. Uh, we found out our freaking friend is an alien the day, like Ashlyn, the day that those elements showed up. So I feel like we should keep those. All right. Good luck, Rocky. We're, we're scrounging around for scraps and we're hiding at like the public stable. I wonder if you're supposed to like pay a fee to actually go here, like just say for immersive roleplay, but like we're just sneaking in because <laughs> it's all we can do. Recycled materials he can put to good use. Okay, <laughs> wall cool. Still not really what we're looking for. Aw man, we are going to miss out on the opportunity to go ahead and enter the competition because you can only, you can only go there. Howdy, partner. Yep. Uh, oh my gosh, are we howdy and back? We did! We popped out of the trash can to literally howdy back at him. Okay, and now we found a sink. <laughs> Dang it! Okay, look, sir, it's very nice to meet you too. Do we know you? Like, are we just now meeting you for the first time? Friendly, howdy introduction. Let's just go ahead and get that done here. Uh, so I can see what my first impressions of you are. Your first impressions of me are probably not very good because, you know, stinky. Uh, let's see. Uh, can I, like, have him go ahead and maybe shower in the rain? <laughs> can we hide somewhere and just shower in the rain? Okay, look, look, okay. Let's come over. Friendly. Give a little friendly howdy introduction. Like, you, you interrupted my, my ability to go ahead. Okay, there we go. So this is Tetsu, an adult, good compatibility. A first impression, we think he's interesting, and he thinks we're pretentious. <laughs> Look, if that's how you're going to be, I've got stuff to do, okay, buddy? Uh, all right, well, I think we're going to miss out on the competitions. But the good news is, going into town during this gigantic storm seems to have gone ahead and at least let us have access to some degree 
Oh, that's now we're just getting the little. Okay, there we go. We used it all up. We got stuff we can sell when we get home, but nothing else. Um, and then here is Hercules. He's busy playing. Ah, <sighs> all right. Well, I suppose back into the bathroom for us. And let's go ahead and we're going to wash our hands like a bazillion times and hope that's enough. Still feeling very dazed from everything that has happened with Ashlyn as well. All right, there you go, Rocky. Wow, like I really just, I'm still trying to figure out how we're going to, how we're going to interpret like what to do with Ashlyn, you guys, because she's an alien. She's legitimately actually an alien. And now I wonder if we should keep that a secret from Irwin. But I love the idea that maybe we need a confidant to kind of talk to who's human. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're kidding me. Dumpster. Okay, that's from dumpster diving. Gross prank. Oh no. Oh, we got pranked on the toilet. Oh, this is awful. <laughs> oh, this is not our day. This is absolutely not our day. Okay, I think Rocky really doesn't like that. So let's go ahead and maybe, ugh. Oh, this is this is a horrible day for him. I think hygiene is going to start becoming like a major thing that he's interested in. He might start becoming a little bit of a neat freak just because it's so hard to stay clean on the ranch and it's so hard to like, gross, 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 gross. We'll let him clean it up just because I feel like, and we'll let him try to repair it. Just because I don't think he wants to have a worse reputation. What is going on? I don't even have journey to to whatnot. This person shouldn't even be here. What is happening? Okay, look. This is just a cosplayer. This is a cosplayer. This is not an alien. Okay? Because I don't even have journey to Batu or whatever it's called. So I have no idea why she's here. That actually legitimately perplexes me. That's a cosplayer. Oh my gosh, that's what is Oh, okay, it's a oh, it is a cosplayer. It's a costume day here, you guys. That's what's happening. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna come on out and just start dropping the howdies because I think that that this this surprise the absolute heck out of me. But I think it's some sort of special event happening here because everyone's all dressed up in in costumes. Phew, I feel a lot better knowing that that's what's going on here. So here's Lilith. Um, club cosplay. That's so funny. I was sincerely, sincerely worried that Lilith here might actually like just have something else going on, but it's a cosplay club after all. And they're meeting here. That's hilarious. And Rocky has a crush. <gasps> Does he want somebody to be his knight in shining armor? He thinks she's interesting and he, uh, like, he thinks that she's very interesting and might be his knight in shining armor, which is freaking adorable. I mean, come on, horses and knights go together, right? Right? And meanwhile, uh, she thinks that he's egotistical. And then with Cecilia here, we have bad compatibility. She is strong-minded and we appreciate that about her. And she dislikes us because we're egocentric. Yeah. That's funny. That's really funny. Oh my gosh, are we seriously oh, yes. just gonna go ahead and practice hyper accelerated dragon opening? Uh, what? <laughs> Can we just go ahead and play with Cecilia? Maybe we'll go ahead and like have a captive audience. We don't know how to play chess. We're dazed. Maybe we'll actually be able to play really well because we're super dazed and she's dressed like an alien, right? I love this idea. So maybe he wants to go ahead and spend time talking to her because she's dressed like an alien and that might be a safe environment for him to just kind of slide some questions in. Like, so aliens, huh? Funny that. What do you think about aliens? Join business career. Rocky, you can't do that, but I should give you like maybe the social media career or something. And he has had this desire. The biggest desire he has is to go on a dream date. Um. And you know what? Maybe we will try sending him on a date with somebody at some point when he doesn't stink and he doesn't smell like a toilet or a dumpster and he doesn't smell singed because he was literally hit by lightning and he has more... Well, you know what? Maybe not having any simoleons to your name is a challenge to try to go ahead and like 
bring a really nice date event into the whole situation. All right, you having a good time? So, Lilith here is tense, so I wonder if we can maybe be a little bit flirty. Maybe affection or small talk. Maybe a brag about the ranch. And then let's actually try to maybe get to know. Because I think that would be kind of cute. We're just proving our self-centeredness. Everyone's doing cute little howdy. Oh! And she's... Okay, look, maybe Rocky likes a, a lady who, like is able to really cuss up a storm. <gasps> She's a kleptomaniac? Oh my word. This is, is she like a dark knight? Oh my gosh, this is just getting, now we've got like references to aliens and dark knights and who knows what else, that is so funny. Uh, maybe we'll ask her about her career. Cause I think we're gonna go ahead and just try to chat about the cloudy weather. Like funny that, so being in a bunch of metal. A uh, funny story by the way. Okay, she doesn't have a job right now. And funny story, by the way, Lilith, you see, recently I was struck by lightning, so maybe you want to be careful going outside in that. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see. Let's ask her about her hobbies and skills, and then we might need to leave soon. I'm so flustered that we didn't manage to go ahead and basically get anything else done. So maybe we'll go down and we'll harvest that prairie, some of the prairie grass down here. Oh, she likes fitness. Well... Uh, what do you think about a ranch? And she's reading something. <gasps> what is she reading? This is so cool. I had no idea that we would be so excited about the local, like, Western cosplay ranch uh, group meeting here at the, like, the actual little barn. This is, this is really cute. I didn't know that this was going to be so exciting. Um, and have we introduced ourselves to these two? Let's go ahead and do a howdy howdy, just to make sure that we're getting it all around. Because we're trying to repair our reputation, and I think we're getting a bit of a... Oh, we have lost the tiniest smidge of bad reputation. The more people that you're kind to... <gasps> gifts! We should start getting gifts of some kind that's not horse manure and giving them away to people. Ah, oh, that might help out. Oh, her name is Dear, Dear Lamour. Oh my gosh, we're enamored. Uh-oh. Are we just, like, in love with everybody? So our first impression... Oh, she, she's a teen. Thank goodness we are not, like, flirty with her. Our first impression of her is that she's reasonable. Uh, how nice to meet a sim as reasonable and well-balanced as dear. And her first <laughs> impression is that we're egotistical. Leslie. Uh, so our impression is that she's a man, uh, it, of her is that she is imaginative and hers is that we're unreliable. <laughs> oh, I love first impressions and I love just how much fun it's been oh, to see God all of this happening. The relationships I also set uh, through MC Command Center to move very, uh, about like 50% slower than they normally, that was a bat. That was a bat, are you, excuse me? Are you also a vampire? Because that's gonna be a little bit much, ma'am. If we're gonna, oh, she's expecting a baby. What on earth? We have pregnant aliens of a different type over here. This is, this is just, this is just a living, breathing town. Every time we come into town, we start having all sorts. <laughs> and now we feel, let's see, deep connection from socializing. There's a sim he likes nearby. So I think he has that because of Lilith here. And his crush on her. Yeah, he's got, he's got a crush on her for sure. That is so hilarious. And we learned that she's a kleptomaniac who likes fitness. All right, maybe we'll we'll try a touch of flirting. Um, let's see, flirtation. Maybe we'll go ahead and ask if single, just to just to see how that that goes off, because she seems to be feeling a little happier. Um, and then maybe compliment appearance for sure, because that would definitely be something about her knight in shining armor outfit that he would like. She is single. Woo! And then we will, so when I said we have the relationship uh, set to go slower, I might have to tweak it again because this is really slow to not even see like a ounce of green unless she's really, really, really unimpressed with him. <laughs> All right, let's do, um, let's do just a little bit more small talk about favorite color. And then we're now going ahead and I think we're just like falling apart. We're exhausted, we're tired, 
Like, we don't have a lot going for us. We still want to go on that dream date. Maybe we'll, her favorite color is white. Maybe we'll be able to do something about that. Um, oh my gosh, and we still haven't repaired the toilet. <laughs> All right, look, we're going to go ahead and we're going to leave the group. We're going to go wash our hands for a while. I wonder how much logic skill we gained from that. We actually got a good, decent bit of logic skill for having just talked the whole time. Uh, well... The good news is we did manage to actually go ahead and we did pull off uh, getting some things from the dumpster, which is great. Hercules is happy, which is also great. Tempted to just kind of sleep here until we can go back to our ranch later uh, or until we can like do the competition. But something tells me maybe if we look at all the things we found in the dumpster and we're having Hercules haul up in the dark of night, we might actually go ahead and find ourselves pleasantly surprised at uh, what we've been able to snag. And I would also be pleasantly surprised if we could get some food. I'm gonna, I'm totally gonna wash my, oh, okay, who are you? Oh my, it's her again. Uh, all right, can I grab any food here? <laughs> can I, can I, like, I don't think we should go ahead and like i'm pretty sure this is a bad idea no we're not gonna no you're dazed you're exhausted rocky we are not okay look can you die for meals okay we're gonna send him over here to die for meals <laughs> as the last thing he gets to do tonight because he's so poor you're in no condition for a dream date sir unless you pull out some sort of like i don't know five layer white cake that lilith might be interested in ah whimsel a pineapple? I'm not eating that. I'm totally gonna plant it. <laughs> oh my word. All right. Well, like it is actually the season for pineapple and it only sells for $4 anyway. So I wonder, I mean, if we stay here, I could possibly just go ahead and sleep in the sleeping bag. You know what? We're gonna do it. We're gonna actually legitimately sleep in the stables. So I'm going to give our boy a hug and then we're actually going to sleep in the stables here in town so that we can up our odds of being able to go ahead and actually enter the competition in the morning rather than have to come all the way back and i like the idea that maybe we're going to take on some community jobs in the morning just to try to make ends meet um and then let's see can i actually put rocky's sleeping bag down oh i can oh my gosh <laughs> And then we're gonna come on in and we're gonna have ourselves a nice nap um maybe after i find some more food too where on earth would we get anything to eat okay let's see buy okay we're gonna see if there's anything we can desperately buy at this kiosk and if not i might have to see if there's a surprise vending machine that shows up somehow oh my good word okay there's a lot of stuff we can buy here this by the way is also one of the mods that uh raven Robin, Ravishin made? Uh, wow. Wow, you can, like, buy everything from here. Um, uh, oh my goodness. Okay. All right, look, we might not want to let ourselves buy some of this stuff, because we want to make sure that we at least have a little bit, <laughs> a little bit of a challenge when it comes to being able to, um, to access some of these, like, rare items. <laughs> But it does look like from swatching paint dry. Wow, there's postcards and tents and upgrades. There's seeds. Okay, so this a little bit not what I was talking about. Um, so one second. Yeah, okay. Good to know that that's how that works. And we can use it if we need one of those items. Those are items that are really hard to get with um, the debug cheat sometimes. But let's go ahead and I'm actually gonna find a vending machine. Oh, you know, one of the things I love the most about doing this, though, is that as time goes on, we really do end up watching the world grow because it reflects what Rocky actually needs to have. Let's see. Those are the collectibles. We don't need toys right now. We need food. How about snack attack vending machine and freezy treat vending machine? Um, I'll go ahead and swap those over here. But I really like that the world is getting additions to it as time goes on based off of what Rocky is realizing that he actually needs. And actually, we don't need to even move that off lot, I think. 
because I think moving it to the side where the kids hang out, <laughs> that's a thousand percent where this would go. Let's not even, let's not even pretend. It would go where the kids are so that we can try to encourage like begging for cents and dollars. There we go. All right. There. Phew. About time. We finally have something to eat. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Well, let's send him over. I'm going to have him eat. I'm going to have him pass out inside of the uh, the stable. Maybe go ahead and do some work by gathering up the prairie grass. Uh, ooh, cream cake. <gasps> ooh, pizza, veggie pizza roll up. Oh my gosh. Look, we're going to just stuff our face with those. Um, and maybe like this plum soda and go to town. Oh, I had no idea it was that easy. We might just live off vending machine food <laughs> for quite a while. <laughs> and then when we come back, we'll see about trying to enter our first competition. And I still really need to give it a little bit of thought about what are we going to do about the fact that Ashlyn is an alien. That's kind of a big deal. We're still dazed about that. Huh. Huh. All right. <laughs> yes, I'm going to let him sleep. Yes, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.